philosophically, every year is a new year. Every band is a new band. There was a Hebron band long before Pinstripe. There'll be a Hebron band long after Pinstripe. What are you going to do with the one you got? I love that. You mentioned that you felt like this this past year's band performed really well under pressure. Do you have any sense of why that was? Like, was there something different? Was it student leadership? Was it confidence built from the, how hard the show was? Like, do you have a sense of why that happened? Yeah, I do, actually. Um, they were determined. Their mindset as an organization was determined to make that show happen. They liked it, they bought into it, they saw the potential, and they just would not be denied the opportunity to perform it well. They would not tolerate that from themselves. So their expectation was good and appropriate. And that's a tribute not only to the leadership, but also to the senior class that was coming out of that pandemic and the senior class that we had spent so much time saying, no, your job is to position us for post-pandemic marching band, concert band, for post-pandemic Hebron band. What do we stand for? These are the things that we stand for, and we're gonna stand for these on the other side of the pandemic, no matter who's with us, at that moment. These are the things that we want to stand for. And I would just say to that, Tim, that those kids wanted that moment. They wanted that success. They wanted that validation. And again, you know, like I said, I'm, we're just so thankful to have shared that journey with them. Yeah, it's amazing, you know, and you, you have over many years built that culture amongst your students so that they could do that. You know what I mean? Like that's that's a mm -hmm. tribute to like the whole culture of the band over time. And listen, everybody, if you're watching this, that's not something you build in a year. You know, it's something that, that happens over time and then the students uh, perpetuate it. I love that you described it that way. And I gotta tell you, Andy, like the way you described that makes perfect sense to me because that's the way the show came off the field. Exactly the way you just described it. We're determined that we're just going to nail this. We love this. You can tell they love the show. You can always tell when a band loves her show, right? It's one of the most satisfying things is I love when I'm watching a band and I'm like, man, these kids are in love with this show. They, they probably couldn't wait to get to practice every day and try to get it better. Um, that's maybe the most rewarding part for me, you know, it's just you, we could tell the audience got that joy from the students. Greetings from DCI. This is Drum Corps International staff wishing Marching Roundtable and Tim Hinton the very, very best on your 1000th episode. We're so grateful for everything that you have done for marching arts all around the world. Keep up the great work. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations.